Okay, David here from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to save applications on your T-Mobile G1 to the SD card instead of the internal memory, which will give you a lot more space for applications. First things first, we're going to plug in our T-Mobile G1 to our computer. We're going to pull this down, mount the SD card so we can save stuff to it. Okay, now we're going to save everything on the SD card that we currently have to somewhere on our computer just as a backup because this process is going to erase everything. So, just highlight everything. You can hold down shift. Scroll down to the bottom. Cut, or let's just do copy. Put it over here. Into, I've made a folder called Android Backup, but you can call it whatever you want. Paste. Okay, now that we've backed everything up to the computer, we're going to keep the phone plugged in, pull down this, turn off USB storage, set it to pair the SD card, once that little symbol goes away. Okay, now settings, we're going to go to SD card and phone storage, we're going to click unmount the SD card, and we're going to click format the SD card. Will erase everything? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Uh, give it a second. Okay. Now your SD card is formatted. Then after you have formatted the SD card on your phone, you're gonna pull this down again and hit mount. Okay. Now you're gonna go to our site if you're not already there. Theunlocker.com. Spelled like that. Then you're gonna go down to step five and download these three files and save them to your computer. Okay, then we're gonna take the three files we just downloaded and copy them over to our newly formatted SD card. Okay, now that we have the necessary files on the SD card, we are going to create a new folder. Call it system, all lowercase. And we're going to open the new folder, create another new folder inside it called SD. And we're going to go in that folder, create one last folder called app. Okay, and then we can close this out. Okay, after we put the files on the SD, okay, once we have the three files on the SD card and we created the directory, we're going to unplug our G1 from the computer, and we're going to go to our terminal emulator. If you don't have one of those, go to the market, just search for terminal, and uh, it's usually the oldest one in there. I'm gonna make the font size a little bigger. Okay, we're gonna type in SU to get to root. Give it a second. When this comes up, it always allow. Then we're gonna type in space slash data slash enter okay and then cp space slash sd card slash a2s dot sh space slash data slash enter okay now we can close terminal okay once you close terminal we're going to go to menu settings applications and then we're going to check off unknown sources so we can install other things click ok home. Okay, now we're going to open Linda File Manager. If you don't already have it, go to the market, type in Linda File Manager and you'll find it. We're going to go to the SD card. Linda File Manager. And you'll see the apps2sd2.apk. We're going to click on that. I'm going to say Package Installer. 
install the application. Yep. Always allow. Okay, now you should see this little green bar here. Um, and this is going to ask you how many megabytes you want to devote to the ext2 partition, which is what we're going to use to save apps to. Um, you can do as much as you want, so long as you don't go over 1500 megabytes. So I have an 8 gig card, so I'm going to move this green slider over to the left. And you can see the number appearing here, 13. So 14.69 is what I'm going to stop at, just under 15. I'm going to click apply. Hit wait if it asks you for a force book. And reboot. Let it restart. Okay, once the phone reboots, click menu, settings, go to SD card and phone storage, and then look at the available space. It should be a lot more than 70 megabytes, and that's how you know you did it right. That's it.